this glorious $5 million beachfront mansion was owned by a gentleman that was part of an Egyptian crime family. The house was purchased in 2012, but shortly after, it was destroyed by Hurricane Sandy. After this happened, he spent millions of dollars hurricane-proofing his house by adding hurricane-proof window shutters, an underground storm shelter, and even upgrading the structure with more concrete and steel reinforcements. They have like all this water down here. That's exactly what it is. Look, look at all the cement around here. Y'all, this is a bomb shelter. After renovations, the house looked brand new and all was well, or was it? After all, this was a crime family doing shady stuff behind closed doors. After a few years went by, he fell short on his payments and he was at risk for losing everything. But that wasn't the worst part. The worst part is the entire family was kidnapped by the US government in the middle of the night and sent back to Egypt, leaving behind everything. And when I say everything, I mean it. BMWs, Mercedes, jewelry, expensive cologne, Apple computers, furniture, you name it, they had it. So on this episode, I ask you, the viewer, to embark on this astonishing journey with me as I take you inside to explore the Egyptian crime family mansion. All right guys, welcome back. So here we go. If you know me, you know the routine and you know the drill. I wanna make it seem like as if you were the owner of this house, how would it feel if you were the owner of this house coming in through whoop, that door right there? And this is what it kinda looks like. You turn around and you're greeted with all of this. I know, I know it's messy in here. But I'm telling you, if you look past the vandalism, because this place is heavenly va vandalized, um, you'll see how beautiful this place could be. Now, in some rooms, it's not gonna be everybody's taste. I already know that, because some people are gonna say in the comments, Rick, it's just way too tacky for me. I get it. But you know what? These people work hard for this, and this is what they like, so that's what they're gonna get. So let's, let's just explore, see what we can find, and just hear me out. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Again, you come in right here. That's the front door. It's all barricaded. And you have a couple of options. We can go upstairs. Or we can go straight. We can hang a right. Or we can hang a left. Or we can hang a left left. You know what? Let's go right here. Because this is the shortest part of the house. And let's see what we have in store for you right now. What do we have in here? Now I can't shine my light, not too much in this room because we do have the neighbor's window right there and we don't want to let them know we're inside, of course. Look at that, isn't that cool? What is this? Okay, so this, is, this looks like an office to me. So that's what we'll call it. And this looks like Arabic writing or something. Look at all the furniture in here. This room has the most furniture I've ever seen in an office yet in an abandoned place. This is really cool though. That chair looks extra comfortable. When I say extra comfortable, I'm talking about extra comfortable. Same thing with this love seat right here. Look at that. All right, to me, I think, you know what? That piece right there definitely looks custom made. It almost looks like Indian or some type of Asian piece of furniture. It's a cabinet that's actually, yeah, it's built into the wall. Huh. That's kind of cool. What did they have in here though? It's like a walk-in cabinet closet that was custom made just for them. But I like it though. It's really cool. Look at that. 
Yeah, this is definitely their office, I want to say. What's over here? Let's see if we can go back behind this desk. Because I really want to see what's up. Any drawers, anything in here? What the hell? It's like cereal or sunflower seed. What the hell is that? All right, that's enough of this room. Let's go into the next room. And I just got to say something else about today. I love exploring in the snow and that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm exploring in the snow. I'm from down south. We don't have this type of stuff down south. So this is new for us southerners. And for those southerners that watch my channel, now you know what snow actually looks like. But I'll try to peek out the windows in this place as much as possible. All right, so back at the foot of the stairwell in the lobby area. Let's go ahead and take a right now. We took a left first. Let's go ahead and take a right. And then we're greeted by these little candle sconces right here. Actually, I don't think they're sconces at all. I mean, they're, they are, but it looks like they just light up with not any candle light, just like regular lights. Oh yeah, it's got the light bulb and stuff in there. These are not real candle sconces. I thought they were, but not, you know, like those little tea light candles. Looks like they had a lot of baby furniture. Maybe they had a lot of babies. And that's what they like to do, have babies and stuff. That's what you like to do. That's what you like to do. Look at this. Standing at the foot of the stairwell. Make sure you watch your step when you come up here. Here we go. Look at that. That's a nice looking pool table. That's for sure. You know it's nice because it's got the little tassels hanging. That's my bag right there. Give a shout out to Timba. Look at this. Isn't this cool? Got a bulldog right here smoking a cigar. But his hand's broken off. Here's another Arabic piece. Kind of made out of plastic or something. I have no idea what all that stuff is. I'm going to leave it alone. Kind of looks like iodine or something. All right, I just got to start off by saying this. Wait, hold on. Let me turn off my light real quick and show you. Look at how dark it is in this house. This is really dark for a house. You want to know why? Because the person that lived here or the family that lived here, they made the house hurricane proof. So there's shutters on the windows. That's why it's so dark in here. And I hate using my, my floodlight, but I have to, cause this is that dang dark. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Look, here we go. Another child, baby. Well, I'm going to try to peek out the window right now and you probably can't. You see, they have the hurricane shutters up. You can't look through the windows. So I guess this island, whatever island that we are on right now, I don't know, I got to look at my maps again, but had a lot of hurricanes. So he made his house hurricane proof windows anyway. Look at that. Look at this dining room. Now, what is all of this down here? What does this say? Hold on. Now, what does this say? People had short lifespan back where Shakespeare lived. It was impressive that he lived up to 35 years old. Really? Shakespeare was only 35 years old when he died? Here were a lot of diseases, plagues. Wow. Okay. This is actually kind of cool uh, to read something like this. This is definitely by a little kid that wrote this. You could tell by the handwriting. Actually, he's got better handwriting than I do. I promise you. What is this? Yeah, this had to be like for like a homework project or something. Let's continue. Look at this China piece right here. I just want to give a shout out to these little cups right here. And this, let me see. This stuff has got to be worth some money, huh? These little coffee cups and stuff. This has definitely got to be worth some money, huh? Look at all of this stuff just left here to rot. Hoo -hoo, you know they was balling. 78-inch TV. What? Samsung. Oh, and it's a curved screen, too. <laughs> These curved screens kind of just went in and they went out. Skirt. The curved screens, I didn't really see a point in curved screens TV. You know what I'm saying? Just made no sense to me. 
be better off with just a regular old flat screen. Now we're in here. Wow. That is one of the coolest bathroom zinks I've ever seen in my life. Y'all seeing this? Well, you see how they got the birds and stuff on there? The little peacocks? Look at that. That is nifty. Oh, and we got one of these. Look at that. Wait a minute. And look. We got this little thing right here, too, to spray you. We also had an elevator. Ah, it's closed off. Can't open it. It's locked from the inside, I think. Car here. Call. Yeah, all the power's off in this house, unfortunately, so we can't call no elevators and stuff. Um, that leads to outside, which you can't really go out there. Washing area. Let's go down here. See what we got. Actually, huh, that's a nice looking backpack. I like that a lot. Y'all seeing this? That's a nice looking backpack. Hmm. North Face. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to go down to the basement just yet. I'm going to save that for last. Always the basement is last. But I will dip down into the garage and show you what's in here. All right, we just walked into the garage. This is what we're greeted with. A Mercedes SUV, and look at that red Beamer right there. Red is my color. I love the color red. Sometimes it's my favorite, sometimes it's not. Me and the color red have a hate-love relation, hate -love relationship, and uh, but I still like the color. If I go silent at times, that means I'm listening to what's outside, because I just don't want any unwanted company. This is a BMW, I don't know, what, what is this, huh? Is this an M3? No, M3 is only a coupe model. This is a four-door, so what is it? X-Drive. 750 Li. Well, it looks expensive. Got TV headrest right there. Oh man, these doors feel good on a BMW, wow. It's good quality. Look at that. Too bad BMWs and Mercedes cars don't really last that long. But I tell you what, the quality and how they make them and everything, look at this. That's a solid thunk. Did y'all hear that thunk? Let me do that thunk again. Ooh, that's quality right there. Somebody wrote some stuff all over this hood here. Hmm. Oh God, <laughs> I can't show all that. That's terrible. <laughs> Jeez, no mercy, huh? Look at this. It's a nice looking Mercedes right here. I love Mercedes SUVs, they look really nice. This one looks like the big one. Let's see what's on the inside. Is the car alarm gonna go off? Ew, it is nasty in here, oh God. That is ne Ew, okay, that's it. Oh, wait, let's see who has the better sounding thunk. Here we go. Mercedes. BMW. Leave it down in the comments, y'all, because I'm really curious to see who has the better sounding thunk. I am going to go with this. That's my pick. Ted, I just looked at myself on camera right now. I haven't shaved in like two and a half, three weeks. Yeah, it's going on three weeks right now, and I'm like... Just traveling out here on the road, living life on the road, and I haven't shaved. <laughs> you probably, you guys probably don't need to know all that, but yeah, that's what's up. All right, this is the gym made by Bodycraft on this machine right here. A lot of these are Bodycraft. Oh, this is Life Fitness, Bodycraft, uh, Life Fitness, TV. This looks like it's made out of like quartz or something, the gym wall. Got a decent looking bathroom in here. All right, now we're walking into the kitchen. I love, okay, I am super in love with this kitchen. Not necessarily my style and taste, because there's just way too much chrome going on, but it's still really cool looking. Lots and lots of chrome, too much chrome. Way too industrial looking for me, but I still like it. Like I can appreciate this in somebody else's house. I like more of like a shabby chic type of look, more of a farmhouse type of look. I like stuff like that with like sliding barn doors. That's my style. That's what I like. Stuff like this, 
Not so much. It's a little bit too contemporary for me. See, like this table right here? That's way too contemporary for me. But I still appreciate it. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that Samsung TV right there, y'all. Ooh, that's a big one. Put it right in the kitchen, too. Why would you put a TV that big in the kitchen? See all this stuff right here? All these little cups and glasses? This has got to be worth something, huh? Look at this. Look at the scale. It's like a little teacup. Maybe a little shot glass, too. You use it for whatever. All right, now this is the fridge. Can we open it? Yeah, it's like a wall fridge. Yeah, it's like a wall fridge. Here's a cabinet. What's in the cabinet? Oh, that's our like pantry and stuff. I love the wood texture on here. It's so cool. Let's finish looking at the kitchen, shall we? Look at that chandelier there. Y'all seeing that? It's kind of nifty. We got the, we not only we do we have a kitchen island stove. We have a stove over there too. And did y'all see the wall on this? Like the tile work? Very industrial looking. And this is convenient. You have a, a faucet right here that connects to the wall. How convenient is that? So you don't have to walk too far. That is nifty. What the hell? Dust and shine furniture. Oh, here's another fridge. Wow, nothing in there. <laughs> All right, whoa, see, this is what I'm talking about. All these little little knickknack things that look like this. Yeah, this has gotta be worth something. All this china and stuff, gotta be worth something. Look at these bar stools, I do not like them, but again, I can appreciate the thought behind it all. Staying contemporary. See, this is what I'm talking about. You see the windows? They have these shutter door things on them. So this house is hurricane proof windows. But what about the rest of the house? That I do not know. See what I'm saying? You try to open this door and it won't open. It is completely closed. All right, let's move it. Let's give a shout out to the Vaseline on the middle of the floor for whatever reason giggity wrapping around right here now remember this is we're still in the front part of the house we're still downstairs this is like the family great room this is what we have in here i really did think as soon as i walked in this place i thought that was a real animal same thing goes for that dog over there i thought that was a real dog but look at this this is pictures of the family a little kid right there Nice looking family. Looks like they had a good time in here too. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out the whole story for you. I'll tell you that in the beginning. And uh, hopefully it's something juicy. Little Mac, little iMac computer right there. What a bar, nice. I do not know what this is. This is some type of Arabic temperature thing. Okay. Oh, for different countries. Look at that. And look at that thing. That is cool. Let's get a closer look. Yeah. All right. I don't want to go in that room just yet. We're not done with this room. If I had to take a guess, remember that big old Samsung TV that we saw that was in the kitchen? Not the one that was in the box anyway. I bet you it belonged to this wall right here. I bet you any money belonged to this wall. Had to be. All this tacky white contemporary furniture. I do like this though. This is very nice. Brown leather piece of furniture. Honestly, <laughs> okay, I just noticed something. It. <laughs> All right, can I say something? You got the brown furniture right here, the white furniture right there. All right, I think I just thought of a story in my head. Watch this. So it seems to me when the husband and wife went furniture shopping, they couldn't decide what to go with because the husband probably liked this set right here while the wife liked that set right here. So they just went with both of them. How cool is that? 
cool. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, it's like my favorite saying. So with that being said, let's go in here, wrap it around this little bar right quick. Look at that. A Yamaha piano. That thing looks very expensive. Very expensive. I cannot believe they just left all this stuff here. Like, sounds really good. Sounds tuned up just right. All right. All black piano, all glossy black. Give a shout out to the black piano. According to this, it is 34 degrees in the house and outside, I believe it's like 24 degrees. So yeah, that seems about right. Um, it is pretty freaking cold in here. Actually, it feels colder than that. My hands are freezing. My feet are cold too. Now we end up in here. Remember, okay, so here's the front door. That's the front door. And if you will come through here, we actually just wrapped around and came through this way, but you can see what's in here. A lot of white furniture. It seems like every room has a different style of furniture. Like there's almost too much furniture. You know what I mean? Look at this. Baby's head's missing. If I had a house like this, actually, you know what? I probably wouldn't have a house like this. I would be happy with just, I don't know, a small house. Maybe like 1,500 square feet. That's all I need. My house is a little bit bigger than that, but... Um, yeah, that's all I need. I don't need, I don't need a big house for what? What am I going to do with this big old monster house? Look at this thing, more Arabic writing and whatever that is on the wall. It's like made with the wall. Oh no, it's not. It's actually just a centerpiece. It's a beautiful looking fireplace. You get that master P gold trim on there. Shout out to master P and his gold trim. And look at this. That's nice too. What is this made out of? I can't tell. That's wood. So this is something else. I can't tell. Maybe metal. And this is what we have down here. Give a shout out to Spider-Man. Just kind of watching over us, watching over this place. Make sure everything's in line and in check. And we come in here and we're back at the front of the house again, right next to the stairwell. Give a shout out to Dalmatian that scared the hell out of me right when I came in this place. And one more thing we missed. It looks like they like to play guitar. I just stepped in something gooey. Ew, what the hell? What the hell is that? Well, it's not blood, but it's definitely like gooey. It looks like Robitussin, like the cough syrup or something. Give a shout out to the Corvette. Looks like somebody tried to clean this place up a little bit. You can only do such a good job. The place was the, like just tarnished when I came in here. You know what I mean? Looked like it's seen better days. But look at that. That is so beautiful. That crown molding right there like that. That is nice. Beautiful. Do a little swirly swirl. <sighs> look at that. You can tell this place was loaded at one time. These people know we had a lot of fur. These people knew they had a lot of furniture in here because look at this. If a camera here, a camera there, and pretty much a camera in every room there is. I didn't show them to you, but they're here. But the power is off right now. So, and look at all these lights that they had. They had a statue light, the way light, front door, sconce. All of these, this is the, like the whole master control system right here. Let's see, are they clicky buttons? Very satisfying. So I just made it up the stairs just to give you a bird's eye view of what this place looks like standing right on the tippy top of the stairwell 
this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, yeah, it's dark upstairs too. Not as dark as downstairs, but it's still kind of dark. Look at this beautiful chandelier. Good thing I brought my light today. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. That is a beautiful looking chandelier. Very tacky, just like I like it. <laughs> In a house like this, yeah, sure, why not? But look, just to give you a bird's eye view, looking downstairs, that is gorgeous. It's a little messy up here too, but I'm gonna show you what's up. All right, so when you walk at the foot of the stairwell all the way here, you're greeted by a wonderful looking master bedroom set. It is massive in here, I know. It is not looking that great up here either. This place is more about the story than the looks. Now don't get me wrong, it is beautiful in its own right, but not the best looking place I've ever seen. It's just, it's, it's very dirty in here. That, <laughs> that almost looks like blood on the sheets. Looks like a comfortable bed though, besides that. Looks like mold too, hmm, wonderful. I want to show, okay, the best thing about this house, this is my favorite room, the master bedroom, because of this wonderful view that you get when you're looking outside. Look at this. You see that? Guys, come on. This is not disappointing at all. Look, let me open this. Watch, watch this. <laughs> I'm going to let you listen to the ocean real quick. Got to get the sounds of them oceans. Watch that. Man, this is beautiful. So gorgeous. I never get to see snow. I'm from the south, and we don't get to see snow at all. Peek my, peek my head out. Hey, ain't nothing going on out here. It's like completely dead. It is freezing now. Good God, let me close this. Oh, yeah. Now, what do we have over here? We're still in the master bedroom, as you can tell. Still kind of cruising and ticking along. Got a baby's bed right here, a baby cradle. Let's start digging. Let's start rooting around through people's stuff because that's what we like to do on this channel. We like to dig, we like to be nosy because that's what we do. Explorers are very nosy. They want to know everything. They want to know the ins and outs. And that's what we're going to do right here on this channel. Not too much in the drawers. Anything in this drawer? Nope. I love digging anyway. I'm nosy like that. Hold on. I'm buku nosy. Watch this. Yeah, pacifier. Looks like they might have had children. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see that before. Look at this. I think this, okay, this is a flat screen TV, but I think this is one of those DLP screens or DPL screens, I forgot what it was, but these are like way obsolete by now. These are honestly the worst looking televisions I've ever seen in my life. I rather like a regular tube screen. I like the giraffe. I guess I'm just gonna have to use my light this whole video because it is really dark in here. Watch this, let me turn it off. Yeah, you see how dark it is? And downstairs is worse, but you know, you get the gist. Look at that. I think that was the daughter and they were Egyptian. So there's that. Oh, this is what I like to see, family photos. Oh, that's that, wait a minute. So that's what they looked like? Yeah, okay. This is a nice looking family. Okay, cool. But it just amazes me like how many abandoned mansions I go through and how many houses I go through. It's just, they just, everybody leaves stuff behind. They just don't care about any of this stuff. And how can you like just leave pictures like this behind the hell? That looks like Christina Aguilera on crack. <laughs> I don't know how I just thought of that just now, but that was the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this photo. Who did this? Who did this? I mean, it's a very good photo, but like, I don't know, the lady looks like she works at a gas station or something, I don't know. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at this. 
I love the font. Here's an old Dell computer. Oh, and look, here's a baby. Look at that. Can I see that? Start digging and rooting around in here. Let's see what we get. F nah, nothing. This is a bunch of envelopes and shit. Nothing too great. Let's go behind here, behind this curtain. That's what we have over here. Nothing too much going on in this room either. It's just, it's so trashy, you can't even see through it. I mean, you can, but it's like, eh. It's still trashed. I don't know who that is. I'm, as I go throughout this house, I'm seeing like red goo, that's green goo. Where is all this goo coming from? <laughs> it's a lot of goo. Yeah, some kind of goo fest going on in this house. That's a beautiful looking uh, fireplace, if I do say so myself. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's real marble. I can tell from far away that's real marble. This is like a little TV entertainment center room. It is freezing inside this mansion, like extra freezing cold. Good Lord. It's a TV. Yeah, it's just a bunch of hodgepodge of nothingness. Here's some pills. Jeez. Uh, hmm. What is this? Okay, help me out here in the comments, y'all. What is the medicine that's called V-A-L-A-C-Y-C-L-O-V-I-R? What is that for? I don't know. But that's what we got in this room. I noticed these people like a lot of animals. You'll see that as we kind of go along upstairs and downstairs. But yeah, look. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even notice that before. They had so much stuff on top of it. That's a car Carvette bed. How cool is that? A bed that is a Carvette. That is awesome. It's so cold in this house, you can actually see my breath. Wait, watch this. Can y'all see that? I can. It is freezing inside this house. Good gracious. Back inside the master bedroom. I see a Care Bear right there. Let's take a look inside of here, which is called the master bathroom. Let's check. First thing I see is an abandoned closet, literally, because there's nothing in there. <laughs> now, what do we have in store for us in here? This is the master bathroom closet. Or just the master closet. Got some furniture ads down there. Some more pictures. Some more pictures. <clears throat> this closet is massive. Yeah, I'll leave it down in the comments, but who is this? I think it's like some kind of Egyptian lady, but I don't know who's the singer. I don't know. Beats me. Here's a cool looking... Ugh, I'm yawning. Here's a cool looking vase. Wow. That's a nice looking vase. But somebody cracked the top of it. That's a beautiful looking vase, actually. All right, let's get out of the closet and go inside. What the hell is that looking thing? Oh, this is like a lady's blouse. Oh, this is like some, yeah, oh, this is cool. Look at that. That's like, this is what they wear in their own countries and stuff. Wait, let me see if I could display it right here on the cabinet. All right, y'all, this is the best I could do. Believe it or not, yes, you are seeing a Samsung refrigerator inside of this bathroom. There's nothing in there, nothing cool. I just use it as a prop setup for this blouse or whatever it is, some kind of Egyptian robe, maybe some kind of Asian Indian flavor thing going on. I don't know what this is called, but this is a nice 
looking dress right here. It looks like it's worth a lot of money. So I'm going to advertise it on this channel because it's one of the coolest looking dresses I ever seen. That is abandoned by the way, that is abandoned. All right. So let's finish with the house. Here's an iPhone four S case. Actually, that's just a box, but what is in there? Ew, it's like, what? <gasps> Did it get on me? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Blue shit. Here's some cologne. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. It does smell good, though. I kind of like that cologne. It's not bad. It's very loud, but really nice. Why do you have a microwave in here? And look, here's a shot from outside again. That's kind of cool. Beautiful. <laughs> as soon as I came inside this bathroom, I really thought that was a real animal sitting right there, but it is not. Look at that. <laughs> just like the dog downstairs, I thought that was a real dog. I thought this was a real animal. They just look so like elaborate and lifelike. I don't think I showed you guys yet what's actually in here. As you can see, nothing. But my question is, why do you have a refrigerator inside your bathroom? Like why? Like what's the point of that? Maybe like they like to eat when they're on the toilet. I don't know. <laughs> to each his own. Nothing down here. Look at the cool looking fixtures right here. I actually really like that. It's tacky, but it's original. It's cool. I like the faucets. And of course, say it with me, no abandoned a mansion or no rich person's abandoned mansion is complete without a TV inside of it. And a Samsung at that. Wait a minute. I just noticed something. Okay, this is a toilet, right? No big deal. But why do they have a hose connected to the toilet? Did they not use toilet paper? Wait a minute. Nope. There's toilet paper. So that's gone. So what about that? What do you use that for? Maybe you spray yourself with it. But after you get up, like you will be like wet. I don't know. Figure it out in the comments. Look at this shower, y'all. I'm taking too long here. Look at this shower. But I like to be thorough. You got a, a, a faucet right here, 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 and up there, and there. They got like 10 shower heads in one. While you're just sitting there being blasted. Bet you be looking real clean after you get out of here, though. Really cool. There's so much stuff left behind. Like, I can't even keep up with it all. It's just, it's so much stuff. All right, we went inside there. What is it? And I don't think we went in here. Oh, wow. That's a lot of clothes hangers. Wow. This is a big uh, closet too. I'm not going to go rooting through all that stuff. It's just going to take too long. I'm not here to look through all of this stuff. Single file one by one. I'm here to show you the mansion. So let's finish up with the mansion. I mean, we can look at some things. Cause some things are interesting and catch my attention, but like not everything. Oh, look, there's a mattress. I'm still inside this closet, but look, this thing right here, hold on. It looks like you can go behind this bookshelf. Can you? looks like it's like pushed out the way or something. Hold on. What is, what the heck? What the, what? Well, look, there's a safe here. I'm finding all kind of goodies in this house now. There's a safe inside. You're definitely not opening that. Let me see. That is solid. Look at this. Well, now you know what's inside of a safe. It looked like somebody tried to break in this thing and they were very, very unsuccessful. So now you know what's inside of a safe. There's steel mixed with concrete and more steel. You ain't getting inside this piece. There's no way. I wonder what was inside. Let me see if I can move it. Yeah, definitely not happening. Definitely not happening. But hey, 
We found a safe, probably got a lot of money in there too. I'm thinking you probably need some explosives to open this thing now. Who knows, man? All right, here we go. Finally making my way out of the master bathroom. We're still upstairs. Let's take a right over here. That's a cool looking sconce. Look at all the fingernail polish, makeup. You could definitely tell a young girl lived here. That was part of the family. Doing what she has to do to get all prettied up. Yes, indeed. That, act, that fingernail polish actually looks kind of expensive, if you ask me. Here's some more fingernail polish that's on the ground. You turn off this light. Look at how nice it looks outside. That's beautiful. There's somebody walking over there. Aren't you cold, bro? It's freezing out there. Oh, he's walking his dog. Look how beautiful it is out here. Whew. Honestly, <laughs> I almost rather be out there than here. In here, it's kind of grimy and messy. It's still really cool, but I'm always inside these abandoned places that are just nasty and grimy. But I do like it. I don't even know why I like this stuff. I just I like being nosy and looking through people's stuff. But I also like the snow because I never see it. I never see snow. All right. With that being said, I'm just rambling on. Some people say in my comments, Rick, you talk too much. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know what this book's all about. This, this book is the property of... Oh, yeah, this must be a school book or something. It's a recycled school book. What do we have in here, my friends? Let's start digging. Ooh. Let's turn it down a little bit. We got some possible love notes going on. What does this say? One of the moments, WPA, which is a sponsor... Eh. This is nothing that really interests me at all. All right, I'm not going to read that. And right here we have the Arabic alphabet. What do we have here? Uh, that's kind of cool looking. I wish I could shine my light, but it'll be shining out the window. Don't want to do that. Whoa, what do we have in here? What is that? Well, that's made out of glass. That's heavy. Ew, what is that? Something's gooey on there. This, this whole house is just full of goo. I should call it the Ghostbusters house. Like Slimer. What does that say? Wait. She was mentally in a child's state because she enjoyed playing with the children more than being with her husband. Okay. She was... What does that say? I can't make it out. Something mentally, her father also treated her the same way. I couldn't make out that word right there. Hmm. Nothing. All right. Next. Nope. Nothing's down there. Yeah, this is a girl's room. Pretty sure this is a girl's room. You know, I could tell that. Oh, what the hell? It's a cool looking book. Dang. Shoot. I kind of like that book. Very nice. Uh, you know how I tell this is a girl's room? Look at the furniture. It's very girly in here. But in a, like in a contemporary kind of way. Looks like to me they might have had two girls in here. Two mattresses, two beds. Look like somebody had a leg cast. She probably played sports and stuff. Anything in here? Nope. Nothing in here. And I'm sure there's some stuff under the bed, but I just don't feel like going under there right now. It's probably filled with monsters and the boogeyman, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but moving on, here we go. So remember, this is the staircase right here. I really want you guys to fly out of this floor plan. We went up the staircase, went inside that master bedroom, came out through this little hallway right here, went inside the girls' room. Let's dip inside the bathroom. Now, what do we have going on inside this bathroom? Well, we got a giraffe, so that's cool. 
toilet, of course. Yeah, it's just your standard bathroom. Nothing going on that's too crazy. I do like these type of faucets that are just like this. You get the, you actually get to watch the water come out and flow from the top. Isn't that cool? I want that in my house. And here we are, standing right here on the balcony, on the little loft area. And this is what we're greeting with right here, is a nice, beautiful sectional. Nice, beautiful sectional sofa. Give a shout out to the front windows right there. There they are and they're all their glory. Looks beautiful. I can't get over that chandelier though. It's a nice looking chandelier there. And what do we have in here? Oh, this is a nice looking bedroom. Shit. Look at that. Turn up with that exposure just a little bit. It's a little, a little dark in here and I can't really shine my light through the window. This is how it is. Wait a minute. What's in here though? Oh, nothing. Part of the air conditioning system. Look at that. Okay, now this to me looks like a young man's bedroom. I can tell by the furniture. It looks kind of masculine. Both of the beds. Plus you have this, the backpacks, little workbenches and tools and stuff like for play school and you know how kids do. They just play around. That's why they got these little workshop benches and stuff. Now what do we have in here? Nothing. Toilet paper. I actually might need some toilet paper too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, run I'm running out. Here we go. One last look at this room before we start moving on. Here we go. Next room. And just like that, we are magically inside the next room, which is the bathroom. It just kind of flows right on through. Have you ever had 212 cologne before? Leave it in the comments. Looks like a younger person's cologne. Never heard of it though. Let's get another shot of outside. Can not never get enough shots of the outside. They're just so pretty. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. And look at all this stuff. All this stuff is just thrown around. Looks like complete garbage and school supplies. Nothing's inside this dresser. This is a weird place to put a dresser because this is in the middle of a hallway. Why would you put a dresser in the middle of a hallway? Unless maybe you couldn't fit it in your bedroom. Well, other than that, I don't see any reason for it. It's crazy. All right, wrapping around right here. I think this is the final room of the house. It's a closet right there. I think this over here is the final boss at the upstairs the final boss room here we go this is it this is that's all that's to the second floor <coughs> upstairs looks like uh, pretty nice furniture not bad I don't think this is all wood looks kind of cool though look at all this stuff Actually, the, the frame of the board, like the headboard and everything, it looks like wood and like a plastic mix. Look at this. Never seen anything like this before. What is all this stuff in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I wonder when this place went abandoned. Hurry, free iPads are available to the first 100 callers. I don't believe that one bit. Not one bit. Nope. Nothing really in the dresser drawer. Nothing. All right, so here's the chest. Let's look inside the chest. Maybe they might have some stuff like they, okay, they do, but not great stuff. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Just school books, school supplies, stuff like that. Here's an inhaler. They might've had asthma. I think that's what that's for. Is there anything inside of here? This room is so small, but it's like loaded with furniture. Absolutely loaded with furniture. All right, y'all. So remember this spot right here? Rem remember how we came up the stairs? We went around here and look, here's the third floor. Finally, the third floor. You're gonna see what's up there. Meet you on the flip side. The very foot of the stairwell, this is what we see. Look how cool this room is. Windows on every side. This is definitely the chill room up here. And look at this. 
Hoo, hoo, hoo. This is nice. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous weather to me. The more gray, the better. I love gloomy weather. Love it, love it, love it. Is it raining? Yo, I think it's raining now. I don't know if rain is such a good thing when it's snowing outside. That means it's probably gonna end up freezing and causing a lot of black ice. Let's see what we can see up here. We got some sofa action. We got some red leather action. We got some blue fabric action. It's a weird combination. More kids toys. And that's kind of it. Shot of the ceiling. Beautiful. All right guys, I told you I'm gonna do the basement last. That's what we are gonna do. We're back at the basement. It always stinks down in the basement area for some reason. Uh, this is starting to look like a much older house than what it is now. Oh, it's just, nah, that's a nothing room. What is this? Look at the door. This door's like only like five foot tall. I got a duck to even get in here. Why is the basement so tiny? What is even back here? This is creepy. Whoa, look at this. What? This is a pretty big basement. What the hell? This is creepy down here, y'all. What the hell? Looks like a projecting system was to, that. Yeah, this is like a little movie theater or setup or something. Look at the wood and everything in this house. What is it, wait, hold on. Is this turning into a bunker? Y'all, wait a minute, huh. Y'all, this is a bunker house. I didn't even know that. Look, the house is built on these steel support beams right here, all going across it. This is the top of the house. They have like all this water down here. I'm just waiting to find food now, but if I had to take a guess, this is like a bomb shelter. That's exactly what it is. Look, look at all the cement around here. Y'all, this is a bomb shelter. I did not expect to find this in here. What the hell? Oh, this is a t what? Yeah, look, there's a generator. They have a backup generator down here, everything. Diesel generator. Y'all, I'm like legit excited that I found this. I didn't even know this was here. Look at the cans of water and everything like that. They have enough water in here to survive like at least a week. That's cool though, that knowing that this house had a bunker to it. I didn't even know that. I'm excited. Now what do we have in here? This is like a little back cabinet. This is a bunch of light bulbs and stuff. That's storage. Wow, I'm like genuinely excited to be in here right now. This is like the coolest part of the house. And what is this? It just keeps going on. Oh, this is, nope, wrong turn. Now this down here, it looks like somebody's bedroom that lives down here. Who lived down here in the basement? There's like no windows at all, like at all. Like most basements, they're like underground, but you can still see like the outside world. This is like way underground. Like the stairs were kind of deep in here. So yeah, this is not your typical basement above ground basement this is like basement basement 